Hello Libra in love. Let's see what is going on in your love life. So we're going to look at your energy, your person's energy, and the obstacles. We will clarify everything, of course. So your energy, Libra, is you are feeling very settled. You know what you want. You're very clear. You're passionate. You're loyal. You want to have something very solid. That is Taurus energy, ruled by Venus, also like yourself. You are feeling, though, very uh, confused. You're feeling lost in your emotions. You feel like you're drowning in almost a lack of information. It looks like your person has not spoken to you in a period of time. It is disrupting your sense of feeling safe, but you're not letting it show to the world outside. Your person is feeling as though it's time to throw caution to the winds. We have two pages. There may be an age difference with this person, but we certainly see a difference in terms of uh, life experience, maturity, however you would word that. But pages are all about learning and messengers, but the page of coins shows that your person wants to throw caution to the winds. They want to make an offer. It's not a big offer. And here we have a big wand. <laughs> the Ace of Wands is they feel passionate. They want to come in. They want to, they want to have some fun with you. The obstacle here is the Aries Queen. So the Aries Queen energy is a take charge energy. It's about being a little bossy, a little passionate. It's fun, it's engaging, but it is an obstacle. It looks as though all of this watery energy and all of this page energy is, is not matching or meshing. So... We really see that both of you want a victory, but we all, oh, wow, okay. So with the Emperor card, we do have Aries, Aries, and Leo energy. When we get those cards, we're looking at two people who have a lot of pride, a lot of dignity. They don't really want to reveal because we have the, king, the uh, Emperor here with a big chess piece. So both of you are sort of playing cat and mouse. Um, you, however, Libra, are pretty wounded. I don't think your person's wounded at all. I feel as though they just don't even understand the impact this has had on you. So let's look and see what the clarifier is for the King of Pentacles. You feel as though your relationship is very successful except in the area of love. So you feel like out in the outside world, you feel grounded, you feel successful, you feel good at about everything. But this relationship really almost pulls you under the water and undermines your sense of confidence. You want romance. You don't understand why your person is not sweet, kind, romantic. You have no idea. I also feel as though at the beginning of this relationship they were. So Libra, you know, what we see is that your person almost feels as though they gave you the best at the beginning and now they're acting, you know, we like pages, but pages are not powerful energy. They're pages. You also feel like your person has been a lightweight. You feel it, again, pages. They went from Knight of Cups energy to page energy. And here we have two more pages. So you are right about that. But, you know, you're really wounded by this. You feel as though, what the heck? Here I came in with the energy of the King of uh, Pentacles. They came in, you know, sort of touting their stuff. You know, here I am, larger than life, and then this is what has happened. The Ten of Cups says that your person really thinks that you are there happily ever after. They would like to throw caution to the winds. They would like to tell you that they love you because this is a card of deep love. Your person feels as though they're at a turning point. There's a fork in the road. They need to make a decision, and they want to make a decision that favors the relationship. They want an adventure with you, so that's the throw caution to the winds, going on an adventure. We see the globe. We see a, a, a VW Volkswagen van with a, a surfboard. So your person wants to have adventures in love with you of uh, like going on vacation. You know, this person wants to have more fun. They want to take the relationship sort of outside the parameters of what it's been in the past. 
the high priestess so they're in they're very psychic your person is this is cancerian energy we have aries energy we have pisces energy again we have aquarius we have Libra energy. Here you are, Libra. But what we're getting here is that your person's actually very psychic. When we get the high priestess, this person does know how to nurture. This is Cancerian energy. Sweet, kind, loving, nurturing. They show you their love, or this is what they think they do. They show you how much they want to nurture you by making love with you. So there's something about the unique quality of lovemaking that this person seeks to express their emotions through their anatomy. But here we have for the obstacle, the Queen of Wands, and that energy needs to be released. The Queen of Wands is not really very helpful. Uh, there's this feeling that both of you have judged each other it looks as though the Queen of Wands energy is being released. There, there's sort of almost a lack of belief in the relationship uh, at this point in time, but that needs to be released. That Somebody's bossy here. That's really what I get. I feel as though both of you are sort of bossy, but it's very toned down. It's very under the water. It's very hidden. I feel that there could be power struggles here. These are the obstacles. You know, the queen wants her way. The, the emperor wants his way. You both want to be the winner winner chicken dinner but these are very ego driven cards and that needs to be released so we do see that both of you need to really tell each other that you love each other you need to acknowledge the relationship you need to go forward you need to declare this relationship in public it needs to have the the acknowledgement of your friends of your family of being front and center the academy award you know drum roll here they come you know getting ready for the wedding video because that is a marriage card the sun card says that you will enjoy your life if you let go of the games that people play you know the emperor energy the emperor likes to be the boss and he's the king of the kings quote unquote he and he always plays everything to win but you have to release that energy you have to release control you have to tell each other you love each other then you have to actually go out and have a lot of fun together go on a vacation look at this energy so what's happening at this time is that both of you are moving in the direction your person especially is moving in the direction of taking Taking action to reconcile. Reconciliation is the number one meaning of temperance. It always has been for me as a professional reader, wanting to balance things out. You know, you have Archangel there who is protecting the relationship, the connection. So let's see what else we have for the temperance as the outcome. It is a reconciliation, a death and rebirth. We will clarify, of course, death and rebirth, Libra. So Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy, and we have Three of Pentacles. Working together, really, you know, talking, communicating, you know, working together. If you're a married couple having problems getting therapy or a therapist, but, you know, this could mean someone who's helping in the relationship. Uh, in terms of building the relationship. So let's see why we have temperance here. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Sagittarius energy twice. So you might be dealing with a Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Why is a death card here? The re It's death and rebirth, not just the death card. Ah, both of you. you both of you have over-intellectualized the relationship. Both of you have been in your head too much, and that has to die, and what has to be reborn is optimism in the relationship. Both of you have given up on it. You know, you're all in your head, you're, stri you're trying to stay detached, but you're not really detached. This person wants to love you. They want to love you even more. They want to have an adventure with you, but your person has not told you. And so you're feeling and they're feeling sort of this hopelessness. And yet it seems obvious to the rest of the world 
what needs to happen, and here we have it. We have both of you all up in your head, but there's a white dove, and there is a new beginning, Libra, a brand new beginning in this relationship. Let's look and see how your person feels about what they know in terms of the world card. How do they feel about you and the way you're handling it? They feel as though the relationship needs to heal. The Four of Swords is repeating here. The Four of Swords is upright. It means that you're sad, you're hurting. They feel, they don't see it. They feel as though whatever happened, you can get over it quickly. The Four of Swords reversed is a card that says that they feel that you have healed or you should have healed or that you're, you know, you're, you're sort of keeping yourself stuck there. They feel as though you're making more of it than it needs to be. Why is the, how do they feel about the moon card as your energy here? Yeah, they feel as though there's no victory. They feel as though they can't reach you emotionally. They feel as though very much that you are thinking what you're thinking. They don't really understand why you're thinking that way. They don't really understand how you've become so wounded or hurt. Libra, this person does not get it. They just don't think they did anything. Here we go. We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. So your person is feeling as though, what, what's get up out of bed, you know, stop it. Don't feel that way. Well, that doesn't really work. That's immature. So your person's almost feeling as though they're trying to tell you what to do. They're trying to tell you how to be. And that's just, this is the Aries Queen. That's your seventh house. You're ruled by Venus. You don't really understand this Aries energy. Though you're attracted to it, you don't really always understand it. So how do you feel about their desire to throw caution to the wind? How do you feel about the desire that they have for the Ten of Cups? I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> it's not bad energy. It just shows that you're happy, but you still feel as though you have to look after your heart. How do you feel? How does your how do you feel about this adventure? Well, you think it's premature. Like really? We haven't even gotten off the ground over here, but you want to go on this fancy vacation. Your person feels as though you have no clue what's going on. Or you feel your person has no clue what's going on. You feel as though they're oblivious, that they're clueless, that they don't want to marry you. So you feel as though they are not grounded with you. You don't really understand where they're coming from. They don't understand where you're coming from. So let's look and see what, how this, how the obstacles will be reserved or uh Resolved, I'm sorry. Uh, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Fire and passion would go a long way. Your person will exhibit to you during that encounter that they have not left with you. They will show you a lot of love. That's how your person sees this happening. They feel as though the way to show you their love is to make love to you and to express that love during an intimate moment to tell you that they love you. But the chariot card says that they're still playing it cool. They're still playing it cool. They, what is this person waiting for? Okay, so let's look at romance angels and see what both of you feel about that. So let's see, for romance angels, for Jim, uh, for Libra, what is the romance advice for Libra in terms of this relationship? Healing family issues. So some of this is true, I guess. You know, what we're seeing here is that the this pain that you feel is indeed out of proportion because it's, it's reminding you of a time when your family really wounded you as a child. You deserve love. You are lovable. So part of what you're going through is that you know, you have to heal those wounds. So it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive and give love. It's the highest energy of all. Your person is feeling that they trust you. Okay, so the advice to your person is to trust, to go forward, to move forward in this relationship. Let's see. Oh, a wedding. <laughs> 
spirit is calling on your person to recognize that they would really like to be married to you. Uh, that you are there happily ever after. And not to think of getting married as a burden. So give your relationship a chance. That is what Romance Angels is saying to your significant other. Let's see what the Lenormand deck has for you in terms of predicting the ongoing energy. This is a fortune-telling deck, so to speak. Let's see what we have here for the Lenormand. Lenormand. Five cards for Lenormand. Okay. Clouds. Okay, so clouds, rainy days. You have some things to work through. You can't see everything clearly, but look at there. We have a ring. We have the moon. You can't see it coming. The moon is out in this relationship, but look at that cute bunny. There are things that you have to deal with. There's a cross to bear, and it looks like the cross to bear is a misunderstanding that have taken place in this relationship. The fact that you're both on very different pages. And Libra, your person is very strategic. But look at this. The stars came out tonight over a house and a home. That is Four of Wands energy. So it looks like a beautiful relationship that needs to heal and needs some good communication. Cindy, you love Libra? Send some back. Tell me where you're from.